and welcome. welcome. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's been too long doing this. We're going to do the intro this time, though. Yes. Welcome to Podband Podcast. The premier Pipe Band Podcast. We did it. Say that right. Yeah, we said yes. that right. Okay, okay roll credits. Uh, done. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to talk about some top tens. Top ten what, you may ask? Top ten. Top ten. Everyone loves listicles, right? For those not in the know, a listicle is an article that's a list. See, but would this be like a listicast? Listicast. That sounds like a disease. <laughs> so does a listicle. <laughs> Got an issue with our listicast flaring up again. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, it's a list. Yes. Top uh, ten. Top ten. I mean, what is your top ten? Tell we'll me. give you. We'll give you a minute to think about it. Yeah. Got your top ten? No. Come on. Top ten pipe band. Yes. Top ten, but not top ten pipe bands, but pipe band space top ten. Yes. I mean pipe space band space top space ten space. 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 Exclamation point. That's it. Space. <laughs> <laughs> let's get into the top ten. What's your what? Okay, let's go ten. You do ten. I do ten. Like, what's your number ten? What's my number ten? And we'll see. Okay, um, I wrote down 10 things, and I did not put them in order. What the uh, heck? I was going to go back and reorder them, and then I totally forgot. Um, and I, I also was trying to think of things that weren't the obvious, and then I ran out of things, so I ended up with obvious things. <laughs> so we're going to say my number 10 is winning. Winning is good. Yes. I have winning on my list somewhere, but it's not number 10. Oh, well, then it's not on your list yet. I felt like Spoilers. number one was, like, the best, so number 10 is kind of like... I, I say that's number 10 because I was, again, trying to not do the obvious things. Mm. So if I had to, it like is a leftover thought. Yeah, it is cliche to say winning is like. Winning is one of my favorite things. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing. That's yes. why it's on top I 10. I do enjoy winning. It's one of the top 10 things. Top 10. Yeah, yeah. top 10. Go ahead. Uh, My top 10, or my number 10, coming in at number 10. <laughs> Hold on. I just, I have to make a request of Alex real quick. For our for our patrons watching this, um, for our patrons watching this, I want you to look up uh, Most Extreme, which was a TV show from Animal Planet back in the early 2000s. Look that up and give me some of those effects here. I want like the person with the big mouth. Like um, they had some pretty cool. It was like top 10 most extreme animals and they had some cool like effects. So if you're watching on our Patreon, that's what this is right now. Um, Otherwise, if you're just listening, well, you can sign up on patreon.com slash podbandpipecast for the low, low price of $5. Plus tax. Per month. And you can see this effect plus many other cool things yes. on there. Yeah. So sign up. Anyway. Top 10. Top 10. Coming in at number 10 for me, Highland Games food. Okay. Like, and I just do it, did it like generic because like. Some foods are number one, mm -hmm. but some foods are like, don't even make the list. So what's, like, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is the gener the generic like meat pie. Like the- That one's a good one. Whatever it is, Scottish meat pie, the, the lamb and whatever. Yeah. By the way, if you can hear my baby sneezing in the background, <laughs> she's here. She's been very good, but- If you would like to see an exclusive interview- with the baby. It's on our Patreon. Because, mm -hmm. of course, we interviewed the baby for the Obviously. podcast. She's got a lot of opinions. Yeah. What's your favorite Highland Games food? Um, I also like the meat pies, but I like the steak and mushroom one. Mm -hmm. That one's my favorite. Or a funnel cake. Funnel cake's hard to get. Funnel cakes, yeah. See, the thing about funnel cakes... They're I, so messy. They're so messy. <laughs> I always get so messy. It's like, because you got like your, your kilt on and your black vest and like, you got you just got to take that, take off the vest because there's just no way. And your jacket, if you're wearing a jacket, just take, you gotta take eat that it, off. You like, got downwind too or like sideways. Because yeah. funnel cake, funnel cakes usually have powdered sugar on them and then they just go everywhere and it's but just. it's so good. It is so good. And I'm curious, like. I don't think funnel cake is a Scottish thing. I think it's like a southern thing. It's probably just because it's like a, a fair food. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's other things at the games where I'm like, that's not a that's not a Scottish thing. 
It's yeah. tasty. Mm-hmm. The Hawaiian chicken bowls yes. at the Costa Mesa games. Those, Those, yes. Shout out to the Hawaiian chicken people. <laughs> at the Costa Mesa games. They're probably not listening to this, but if, if you are, you thank you. You got good chicken, yes. That's good chicken. I look forward to it every time. Yeah. So much food. Twisty taters. Oh, man. So good. I miss all the food. All the food. Speaking of food, my number nine is the lemonade. Yes. There's a lot of good lemonades, lemonades at the games. So I was thinking about this the other day because, like, I don't know if it's that the lemonade is very good lemonade or if it's that, like, it's always hot at the games. <laughs> and you're always like, I'm hot, I'm tired, I need something cold and sugary. And there's lemonade and it's delicious. And it meets all those requirements. Yeah. So I don't know if it's actually that good. And we will never know. In my mind, it is. Mm-hmm. What's your number nine? My number nine is road tripping with the band. Hey. Once again, because most of it is really fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there are parts of it that are not fun. Um, like if you have to pee really bad <laughs> and you're nowhere near a rest stop. <laughs> and this is, I think, something that is, I'm sure, not unique to our part of the country. But it's just like when we road trip with the band, it's like we're driving from Arizona to Southern California and between Phoenix and, like, L.A., there's a lot of just empty desert. <laughs> and some of it's very pretty, but nevertheless, it is empty desert. There's some rest stops that are always closed, but yes. you know, there's rest stops. <laughs> That's the worst thing when you're like, okay, I know there's a rest stop coming up, and then it's like, oh, it's closed. It's like, why? <laughs> why would you do this? I don't know, man. So, yeah, but, you know, it's fun because it's a road trip, and you're with your friends, yes. and, um, yeah. It's a good time. We watch movies in the car and stuff. Yeah. It's fun. Fun. Uh, number number eight. Number eight. Um, I like, uh, like, like on Friday, uh, we highlight our tenor music so you can tell whose part is what. I like when the color scheme is nice. Mm-hmm. Like the, the purple, pink, blue. It looks nice. Mm-hmm. I'm blue. I'm blue. You're blue? Yes, yes, you're pink. Yes, I'm always pink. Erica's purple. If we add in another person, it's gonna have to be like green or something. I don't mind green, but like I don't think it fits the it fits the vibe. Yeah, it's kind of. At one point we had five, and I think that we had we had the purple, pink, blue. I think there was orange and yellow. I think it was orange and yellow. Yeah, I want to say. You're gonna have to let me see the list of colors when it's time to add more. <laughs> yeah, we need to. Yeah, look at all the highlight colors, and I don't know. That, that's fun. Yeah. It was not fun when I forgot what colors they were and highlighted them the wrong color. <laughs> and then I was green. Yeah, I was. I highlighted myself in green. And Erica was blue. And then it was like on half of our music, I was blue. On the other half, I was green. <laughs> and then Erica was blue for part of it and not blue. And it just, it was confusing. So, yeah. But we got to figure it out now. Yeah. The uh, tenor things, you know. Yes. People don't understand. Top ten or things. Top ten or uh, bad jokes. <laughs> That's my number eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> honorable mention. I do have an honorable mention thing here. And, but that's like further down. That's yeah, like, yeah, we'll wait. You know, we'll wait. Uh, my number eight is nine eight marches. Uh, I was being creative with this one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's like nine eight. But like. We just recently started playing some mar- nine eight marches, um, and they're really fun. I enjoy you know? them. Yeah, it's like a six eight, but not. But more. Yeah. Faster. Yeah, a lot more fun. Yes, more counting. Yeah, we got to count to nine. Nine. It's a lot of counting. It is. Normally, I only count one two three two two three three two three, <laughs> because then I only have to count to three. You know. But what about four? Oh, no one likes four. Oh, you're right. You're right. And then we played. Oh, that's not on my list, but that's an honorable mention for number seven and a half is a five four march. We play it. We've been playing a five four march, and then everyone has to count to five, and it's just been like, wow, we've never had to count this high. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, what's your number seven? Uh, my number seven is uh, colorful mallets. I like that you can get them in lots of different colors, and I like to see them in nice colors in different bands and how they, like, match the kilt sometimes. Yes. I enjoy that. I especially like when you have, like, a little tiny piece of a color in your kilt, and that's the color your mallets are. Yes. It's like if your whole kilt is green and your mallets are green, it's like, oh, okay. 
I expect that. Yeah. But, like, our kilts have some pink in them, and it's time for some new mallets, so... True. Is it still pink or is it more red? I guess it's still pink. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't looked at it in so long. I know. It's been forever. (laughs) Uh, My number seven is teeny tiny children in teeny tiny kilts. Yes, teeny (laughs) kilts are so cute. Because it's just like, why is that so small? (laughs) First of all, why is that human so small? (laughs) And second of all, why is that kilt so small? And sometimes they even have the little teeny tiny spore in, and yes. it's just like that serves no purpose. It's just, what are you gonna put in that? You can put anything in that. Yeah, it's just adorable. Are you gonna get Amelia a small kilt? Probably, probably at some point. Good. And then it's great because, like, when kids are that little, they they don't have a choice about what they wear. Yeah, they're just like this is what it is. <laughs> yeah, adorable. Um. I don't know, number one. Uh, number six. Number six. Uh, speaking of kilts, I like a good aesthetically pleasing kilt. Like the color scheme when it's nice and it mm-hmm. all, I don't know, it all fits. Like there was one band, like when when we first went to Costa, like my first time at Costa Mesa, there was a band and they were like green and brown and it reminded me of Thin Mints. Ah, the Thin I Mints pipe that. band. Yes. <laughs> Sponsored by Thin Mints. <laughs> See, I don't like Thin Mints, but I remember that and I like remember that their band? kilts. Yeah. Yes. I don't know what they were, but they got the good kilts. Yeah, they were something. Uh, my number six is gigs that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> we all know when you're at a gig and you're just like, why are we here? Why did this person hire this band? <laughs> so there's a lot of, I don't know, a lot of examples I can think of, like just random things. I mean, it makes sense if we're at like a... Like, we've done, like, um, culture festivals and stuff. Like, that makes a lot of sense. Like, that, sure. Or, you know, gigs at pubs and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, St. Patrick's Day pretty much makes sense. I mean, if you squint, it makes sense. I mean, if you let Alex rant about it, it doesn't make sense. Right. He could complain. (laughs) Maybe we can have him on here to complain in a second. (laughs) Um, If you squint, it makes sense. But then, yeah, it's like... We march into St. Patrick's Day parade, like, and march into, like, a, a bar on St. Patrick's Day, and it's, like, an Irish bar, and we're playing Scotland the Brave, and I'm just, like... They can't tell the difference. And then, like, Green Hills, like, I mean, forget that it's not even a Scottish song, but, like, it's not <laughs> Irish. Like, what do we even play? We have a couple Irish tunes. I mean, like, Dawning of the Day and, like, mm-hmm. Pikeman's March, those are Irish, but, like... <sighs> I don't know. I don't envy the pipe major for having to pick the set list on St. Patrick's Day. Because it just... They're all drunk. Nobody I mean, cares. no one cares. They see bagpipes and they're like, oh, oh Ireland. What are you wearing under there? Meh. One time we did a gig at an I, uh, an Islam, like an Islamic like center. Huh. I, it was like very... There was some reason for it. Someone explained it to us, like, why we were there. But we like played and they were doing a thing and then we left because they were going to like read the Quran. And I was like, what? That's like, a, that's a weird one. <laughs> it's a weird one. Like, but it was kind of cool. Like the reason that this is on my top 10 list is because we end up going places that I would never go. <laughs> <laughs> I would never, you know, I am not the per- kind of person to be like, oh, let me go to, you know, three different bars on St. Patrick's Day. And like that's because you're no fun. I know I am no fun. I just <laughs> I just outed myself as no fun to the entire world. How could you? But yeah, that's my thing about gigs that don't make sense. It's like, no, we probably don't make sense for being here, but you know, it's a good time. It's fun. It's yeah. Fun anyway. And you're paying us usually, so yeah, sure. I'm not gonna refuse <laughs> money. Uh, number five. I like when the double beats from the bass drum at the end of a tune are really loud, mm. and I stand right next to it, and it's really loud, and I enjoy that. <laughs> is that just because Alex is the bass drummer? No, I just enjoy a good bass drum. Bass I do, drum too. Beat. I like a good bass drum beat. And yeah, you are right next to it. Yeah, You're in the middle. so it's always so loud, and I'm like, yeah, it's cut off time. <laughs> yeah. I like that, because then it's like, Pipers, don't miss it. Yeah. And then they miss it. And then they- <laughs> <laughs> or somebody does it a whole line early. 
<laughs> See, that was only in that 5-4 tune where it's like, where do you put the double beats in this tune? I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere. Somewhere. You just got to wave your arms. It's you just cut off soon. We were talking about it. And I was like, just, just do all of the beats super loud. And then they, <laughs> they know. Yeah. Do all of them double beats the entire last part of the tune. And then they can't complain that they didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, five? Yes. That was five. It's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. <laughs> Gigs that do make sense. Oh, oh that's a good one. <laughs> so, like, I think about this. So, back to, like, gigs that don't make sense. Like, you know, graduations, which are cool because they're, you know, an important occasion and it's cool to hire a pipe band. But it's also, like, we live in the U.S. where, like... But do they make sense? I mean, not especially. But also, I don't want them to not have us do it. So, if they're listening... <laughs> sense for the the main one that we do yes they like have a scottish because they have a scottish theme. theme for their for their school yeah but for some of them that we do it's just like thank you for paying us to be here but like Why? your school has nothing to do <laughs> anyway i'm getting off track gigs that do make sense, do make sense. so like the raf memorial for yeah. example so and maybe we can do an episode on this in uh, the future but that like the there were raf pilots that uh trained royal air force royal air force i'm sorry royal air force pilots that trained in mesa at our we have like a, an airport here that used to be a military base so they trained there during world war ii world war one you say that like i pay attention <laughs> world war ii yeah so two. they trained here during world war ii and it was pretty neat because like you know why would they go to Arizona from yeah. the UK? We don't know. <laughs> we do know, but that's it's complicated. Anyway. Future episode. Um, so there were a lot of pilots who died during training because obviously like it was dangerous to fly a plane <laughs> uh, back then. And they didn't have the electronic simulator machines. You just had to get in a plane and hope you could fly <laughs> So uh, we play for their a memorial every year around Veterans Day at the cemetery. And it's pretty neat because it's like, wow, these are people from the UK who died here. And we have a pipe band here in Mesa. And that's pretty spooky that like Mesa, Mesa. And that's even spookier because the church where we practice, which is the church where I go and my family goes, um, was the church where they all attended while they were there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> because um, it's the Episcopal Church, so St. Mark's Episcopal Church, and it was very similar to the Anglican Church, which is what they have in England, where England, a lot of these... England, yeah, makes sense. yeah makes Angl sense. Angl Angl Anglican Church. <laughs> <laughs> so they all went to St. Mark's, and so it's like, it's like very freaky. It's weird. It's a freaky... It makes too, What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? It makes too much sense. We're going to have to do an episode on that one yes. time because it would be... Yeah, it's, there's, it's, it's spooky. What are the odds that their church has a pipe band now? Like this many years in the future? What are the odds? Spooky. Spooky. Cue Twilight Zone sound. <laughs> <laughs> you can just use that instead. <laughs> anyway. Uh, number four. Number four. Um, I really enjoy it when you do really good on a run, and you know you did really good on a run, so then you're, like, done with the run, and it's like, damn. Killed it. Killed it. It is dead. Killed it. Done. It's real good. But then it's, like, disappointing, because then you'll be like, oh, I did so good, and then... And then the score sheets come back, and you didn't. <laughs> well, then we talk to the Pipers, and the Pipers are like, oh, we didn't do good, and it's like... Well, oh, I well, did. Thanks. Not that I matter. The drummers <laughs> did good. Yeah. Even the snares will be like, oh, yeah, we did good, and it's like, no. Or opposite, the Pipers will be like, yeah, we did good, and then the snares will be like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, those moments. Just don't talk to anyone else. Don't look at any score sheets. Cover your ears. Scream a little bit. Yeah. You won't hear any of the, the stuff. Just, just be like, I did the best that I could do. Yes. <laughs> um, my number four. Number four, right? Yeah. Number four. There's too many. Ten is too many. Ten's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of things. Twenty, really, because you're, you're ten and my ten. Yes, yeah, so and they haven't really overlapped as much as I thought they would. Yeah. My number four is pipe band stories. Telling the man listening to them. Like, oh, remember that one time when blah, blah, blah. 
Those are good. Yeah. Those are fun because like that's I mean, that's kind of what our entire podcast is. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Most of it is like, you know, ask someone about what their most memorable pipe band experience was and they'll tell you or their most their most memorable experience that they want to forget too. That's a fun one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Pipe band like pranks, um, trips, hijinks. hijinks. There's so many stories you could tell. Gigs that don't make sense. Those are fun. <laughs> Just so much fun. Number three. I've got traveling on here. Not necessarily traveling with people, but like just the traveling. It's an excuse to go places. Yeah. It brings you lots of different places too. Yeah. And if you're, I don't know, this doesn't usually, I guess doesn't usually happen. But if you're like going somewhere and there's a Highland Games going on at the same time, it's always weird because it's like, that probably never happened to you, but... It's happened to no. me because we were in Canada one time and there was a Highland Games that weekend. And like the crazy people that I am and my family were like, oh, let's go to the Highland Games. <laughs> you just, just went to one. We just went to one. Without yeah. participating. No, we just like, Wild. oh, we're here as a, at a Highland Games. Yeah, it was bizarre. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like traveling and then being like, oh, this is kind of the same as what we have back home, but like different. Because, Slightly different. Yeah. It's a big deal in Canada. I mean, it's. Big deal here, too, but, like, it's different. Different deals. Yeah, different deals. Equally big. Yeah. Uh, my number three. Yes. Is your students' first gig slash contest slash mass bands. It's just, like... I made that. Yeah, I made that. You're doing good. Yeah. Like, you, you do so good. I do so good. It's, like, like... So much fun because like you you have your first lesson with someone and they have no idea what they're doing. And most of the time, as an adult, when you're learning a new thing, it's always like difficult because you're like, as a kid, you learn new things all the time. But as an adult, you're like, I haven't not known what to do in a long time. (laughs) So they're just like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then like they have a gig or something and it's their first time with a band and you're like, wow, you kind of messed up, but... (laughs) You did it. You did it. (laughs) And I'm so proud. And then, of course, it only gets better from there, hopefully. Hopefully. (laughs) Yeah. But, yeah, it's just warms my heart. So much fun. Especially if you can watch and, like, not participate, but just, like, watch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, My number two is the friendships we've made along the way. That's my number one. I mean, my number one is very obvious. Oh. Well. So... (laughs) I put, I guess that's a spoiler for number one. Oh, well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ruined it. But n- n- nothing, you know, friendship. What is number one then? It's okay. We'll get to You'll it. You'll get to it. You'll see it. You'll see it. We'll get to it. But. You'll be like, wow, why wasn't that my number one? Oh, poor baby. Sad baby. We're almost done with our episode. All right. Um, Two? My number two is hearing your band's name announced as first place. Ooh. So. I haven't heard that one before. (laughs) (laughs) It happens very infrequently. (laughs) No, but like winning is cool, but just like, because usually it's at the end of the day and you're tired and sweaty and, or it's been raining all day and you're all like tired and cold and (laughs) you're either sweaty or cold. There's no in between. Mm -hmm. And you're just like, oh, I want to go back to the hotel and just sleep or like I want to go home and sleep and then you hear that your band won and it's just like oh this was all worth it (laughs) yeah uh do you have an honorable mention or can I do my honorable no go ahead ahead. okay because my number one is ruined honorable mention (laughs) is gillies that fit and don't hurt your feet and this is an honorable mention I know that feeling (laughs) yeah it's an honorable mention because they don't exist (laughs) the idea of them yeah if they existed they'd be number one for Mm -hmm. sure Mm -hmm. but they're not even on this list because they don't exist (laughs) mine right now are pretty good but like every couple years someone's like oh man this is the best pair of gillies i've ever gotten and then i get a pair and it's just like no it still hurts it's bad not allowed to have pumpkin shoes (laughs) no (laughs) okay what's your number one this podcast oh yeah see (laughs) <laughs> that should have been my number one. 
So See, cool. I said number one was friends you make along the way because I made you as a friend along yes, the way. Yes, exactly. Yes. So you're, you're basically my top two. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. I don't know. This That's podcast fun. has been a lot of fun. Yes. That makes so much sense to have it be 10. Yeah. See, I told you. I told you. It should have like, been. Wow. Should have been my number one, but. You didn't even mention it. I didn't. It wasn't even honorably mentioned. I wasn't even like thinking of the meta, like, meta-ness of that. Like, <laughs> saying this podcast on this podcast. Like, can you do exactly. that? Exactly. We can. Will the world explode? This is number one. We're number one. <laughs> <laughs> We're number one on our top 10 of. 10. Yeah. I mean, it was 20, but like 10. So. One out of 20 is pretty, pretty good. That's pretty good. It's like yeah. that song, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. It's like one, one out, out of 20. 20 ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, what's your top 10? Top 10, what you may ask? Top 10. Top 10. Top 10. What's your top 10? Tell me. Tell us your top 10. 10 favorite things. Yeah. And how excited are you to get back to those things if you're not already? Yeah. There's like a bunch of the world that is still in lockdown. I did mm-hmm. not realize that. Sorry if that's you. Hope you can get back to your top, top 10 sometime soon. Soon, yes. Just think about it and it'll make you feel better. Think about your top 10. Or it'll make me feel worse. Or worse. Yeah. So maybe don't think about it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Go get a snack or something. Don't don't worry about yeah. it. What are your top 10 snacks? That's fun. Think about that snacks instead. Snacks are fun. Snacks are usually fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's all we got for you today. Thank you for listening. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you enjoyed this show, then support us on Patreon for exclusive content as well as the video of us recording this. We'll have special exercises we'll be writing as well as tips and tricks with tenor drumming and other instruments to come. Um, Subscribe to us on YouTube for some tenor tutorials and possibly other tutorials later on. Um, And like us on Facebook at Podband Pipecast.